the solid state. We have been studying about this state from our junior level. And the mankind always has been fascinated about this state and they, we always have been trying to find out what exactly the solid state is, what all types of solids we can have in our surroundings in the nature and these are the things which we always have been trying to find out. But first, we all know the state which has a definite shape and a definite volume is called solid state. Now these solids are classified into two major categories on the basis of the arrangement of the constituting particles they are having. Therefore, the solids are of two types. Crystalline solids and amorphous solids. This classification is on the basis of the arrangement of the constituting particles. Let us now study each of these types of solids separately so that we can understand what exactly are the major differences between the two. Let us start with crystalline solids. Crystalline solids are the solids in which we have a regular arrangement of constituting particles. I am not defining the particles yet because the particles, these particles can be atoms or molecules or ions, whatever. It depends on the again then the types of the crystalline solids we are taking. But yes, of course. These, they, these solids have a regular arrangement of the constituting particles in a definite pattern. In a definite pattern which is repeated in all three dimensions, uh, three axes. Then, the most important, since the arrangement is repeated, these are These are long range solids. Long range solids means they, they have whatever the pattern these constituting particles are taking that is repeated for long distances. They are long range solids and are short range solids also. Some of these patterns are repeated for short distances. We can take it like this. If these are the constituting particles this type of regular arrangement of these particles like this is called or such type of solids are called crystalline solids in which what we find is the particles are regularly arranged in a fixed pattern. And since these patterns are repeated for long distances, we call them they are, are, they are long range solids, but they can be for the short range. So they are also are short range solids. 